Today we want to share with you an exercise to actually give your worries to God. <laughs> we all know that we're not supposed to get overwhelmed with worries and cares of this life and of this world, but somehow they start to flood our mind, our body, and our soul, and we worry, mm -hmm. and we worry, and we worry. And another word that we use way more often in our culture is stress. We are bombarded with stress. We carry it so heavy in our bodies. Maybe it's in your shoulder. Maybe your gut hurts. Maybe you have a headache. We carry stress around sometimes like it's a badge of honor. <laughs> That's right. But it really weighs us down big time. So mm -hmm. we need to know how to cast our worries before the Lord. We mm -hmm. need to cast them down, like actually literally take them, hold on to them and throw them down. Cast them at the foot of the cross. Because I just want to say that our stress, the stressors that happen in our life turn into our worries that go on and on and repeat in our heads. So you can call it stress, you can call it worry, you can call it whatever you want, but we are told to cast our cares. So today we just have this really practical exercise that we want to show you so that you can literally and figuratively give your worries, give your stress, cast your cares on him because he cares for you. So we're gonna be writing our worries down and we want you to do the same. And then we're going to put them in the God box because we know that God is bigger than all our stresses, all our worries and all our cares. We can give them to him and he can help us take care of them. He will take care of our worries for us. If you don't have you know, the means to make a God box, just use a Kleenex box, empty a Kleenex box and it's got the perfect little place to put your worries in and it's hard to go in there and reach them and take them out again <laughs> so we are going to actually read to you a little devotional while we are doing this ourselves because we've got to do it too <laughs> Matthew 6 28 says therefore I tell you do not worry about your life what you will eat or drink or about your body what you will wear is not life more than food and the body more than clothes Jesus specifically speaks to us and tells us not to worry about our life, but we do. What do you worry about? I'm sure you will relate to many of the following worries. We worry about what our friends will think if we tell them what we really think. We worry about telling our spouse what we disagree on in their decision making. We worry about what the doctor's findings will reveal. We worry about our kids finding the right friends in school. We worry about whether our guests will like the food we make for them. We worry about our friends and co-workers making fun of our faith. We worry about our adult children finding the right spouse. We worry about our finances and how we will survive in retirement. We worry about what we are going to make for the next meal. We worry about the future. Did you relate to any of these worries or to many of them? We continue to worry about so many things that even though Jesus specifically tells us not to, I think that the enemy works overtime to put things in our minds and into our lives just to have us worry. When we worry, it keeps us from trusting and it paralyzes us from taking action to do the will of our Father in heaven. We miss so many opportunities that Jesus gives us because of worrying. We miss experiencing the joy that comes from obeying Him because of our worrying. We miss the satisfaction that comes from fulfilling out our purpose when we worry. Jesus tells us that life is so much more than the worries we have. Life is more than what we wear and more than what we eat. It's about trusting Him in all we do, minute by minute. Today, let's surrender all our worries to Him and live in the presence of God, worry-free. Let's discover the joy that comes from trusting completely in Him, knowing that He will walk with us and carry us through whatever we are facing today. So we've given all our fears to God, and now we know that we can just let them go. We can, we've can we surrendered them all to Him, and we can take that big, deep sigh of relief and go, God's got it all taken care of. Really what we need is a lid for this box <laughs> so we can close it up and not take those worries back. But here's the thing, you're gonna have to do this multiple times, right? We can cast our cares, we can give our stress to God, but we take it back, right? Something happens and we go, oh, I'm stressed out again, right? And then we take it back and we carry that stress all over again and it turns into more worries and more worries. So this is a daily battle of surrender. 
This is not something that we do one time. I mean, you don't have to physically put them back in the God box and write them down every day, but you can. Maybe that's a great visualization exercise for you to actually cast your cares on him. Because and when you actually reach into the box and take it out, because when you find yourself worrying again, if you go back, because it's the same thing, it's the same worry, it's the same overwhelm, take that piece of paper out and go, why did I not leave it with God? He's way stronger than me. He's way bigger than me. He's more powerful than me. He's more knowledgeable than me. He can take care of it and then put it back in and release it again. Mm -hmm, exactly. So every time that you find yourself feeling stressed out, you've got to remember to cast it on him. Every time you feel yourself worrying, whether it's anxious thoughts, whether it's obsessive thoughts, whether you're stressed out to the max and you're ready to rip your hair out, surrender, 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 cast your cares. There's a reason I believe that we're given these pictures in the Bible, like casting your cares, like taking your thoughts captive. There's so many visual images that we're given. That's right. That like like when they were casting their nets on the water, you know, mm. they have to actually literally throw them. It takes effort. It takes work to actually throw it down, cast it down. And sometimes we have to do the work to actually cast it down and leave it there, not to pull it back up again. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, many of us don't know how to manage our stress. Many of us don't know how to navigate our worries and our anxious thoughts. And that's where we need to learn skills so that when we feel that anxiety welling up, when we feel the stress like overtaking us and the overwhelm, we can have a skill or a tool to like pull out of our toolbox and go, okay, here's how I'm gonna manage this. Because if we don't learn how to manage it, we become sick. That's right. Whether it's sickness in our mind, body, or soul. But when we're sick in any area, we're not well. Stress is one of the biggest causes of illness and disease, dis-ease, where we're not just taking things as they come the way God wants us to, just one day at a time. That's an ease of life if we can do that. And stress causes dis-ease of life. So we wanna let that go. We wanna take the weight off of our shoulders. So this God box is just a great illustration of that. It's a great stress buster. We would love it if you would comment below that you've done this activity. Go do it right now, like hit pause and go do it. Don't waste another second and then comment below and tell us if you could feel the physical release of that stress and the weight of it all, leave your shoulders or wherever you're carrying it. <laughs> and if you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And like Casey just said, leave us a comment because we will reply to your comments. We just wanna thank you so much for being here watching and we've got lots more great content coming up about ways that you can deal with your stress and manage it from a faith-based perspective because we've all gotta learn how to manage what's going on in our lives. <laughs> if we don't manage our stress, it's gonna manage us. So use the God box today.